It's, it's not God so much as afterlife. The afterlife. Religion is pretty much about not dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. true. So, yep. And, and uh, I would say 99.9% .9 of human beings don't want to die. <laughs> and so Maybe a little higher. There's nothing. Yeah, right. So you got to have something. If you want to be able to <laughs> stop it. Do you feel like you are on a personal journey to decide for yourself what, if there is an afterlife, uh, you know, what it's like, etc.? cetera? Uh, no. No. No, no. I, 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 <laughs> That's no, the best I, possible I, answer, really. I can accept, yeah. I can accept that uh, personally, death is nothing. Uh -huh. It's like you're here. You're not you here. think that's the end of Period. it? Period. Yeah. Right. You don't tell that to the people, though, when you get there, <laughs> do you? I, I don't have. I don't have an opinion. <laughs> you do. You're no, saying I'm, neutral. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I see a nod. You're nodding, and uh, yeah, yeah, and so then you go for really? lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, uh, if you go into different cultures, they have different concepts of creation. They have their own creation story right and uh of what an afterlife is uh, where you go what you do who you're going to be with you know people say well uh i'm i'm gonna go to the happy place and i'm sure i'll see my loved ones mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> But either way, we don't have to worry about it. Because if everybody's wrong and you've been going to church all this time and then it's over, you'll never know. You'll never know. It's called a win-win. Hey, uh, my dad, though, he was a bit of a scoundrel. Uh huh. And my mom was a church goer, and she would try to get him to go to church, and he was <laughs> when he'd be up there with those people jumping and howling and shouting. <laughs> so when he was seventy-two, he was pruning a peach tree, and uh, he fell, and he hurt his back and that's it he never got better uh -huh. you know they operated on his obviously he was walking around with two canes and stuff and I come home one time and he had a bible that thick I said daddy what what are you doing he said you never know <laughs> good point you don't ever know I saw a couple of uh, couple of episodes of this. One about is there a god? Another one about what holds the universe together? Dark matter. And I'm wondering, you know, your involvement in this. As a kid, did you ever lay out in a summer night, looking up at the sky, wondering oh, all of these heavens, questions? Yes, yes. I grew up in Mississippi, one of the darkest places on the planet. That was back when I was a kid. We didn't have all those lights around out in the so you could see lots of areas. Yeah. So when you looked up, that's what you saw. Yeah, and, and, and uh, what did you think when you looked up? I have no idea what I thought then, <laughs> but uh, it was very fascinating as you grow older and you read more and you start looking up and seeing the things that have been identified as something else, you know, like we look up and we see Orion's belt, stars that are billions and billions of miles apart, but we've created something out of them, it makes them all hang together. Uh, how does that happen? Astrology. You ever think about astrology? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does it have an effect on you? I read my horoscope just this morning. <laughs> Big things ahead for me in the, <laughs> the next couple of days. Right. And you've you know. said before, Morgan, that you're, you're a, a man of God. Uh, when you did this, and, and, and so many of these questions were posed. When did I say I was a man of God? You're not? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, God's an imaginary friend for grown-ups.